Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. When you start rapping like that, screw cap. <laughs> I'm only telling y'all this because <laughs> JC Pennies for bringing outfits for the work is where he cool. Oh, like, oh, oh, every oh, fucking bottle. Now we got the glass dropper. Yeah. The dust shoes. Uh, that, that, that lift liquid quick and, and he get burned still. If I don't get the first couple to take him out, the third wheel. We working overtime. We working overtime. Close the blinds. I'm so motherfucking focused on what's at stake. I didn't even order sides. I just got the main no, 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 no. What? What? Yes, sir. This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, JC versus Ice. Went down outside, street feel, you know, the old Smack DVD feel. It aired today. I did get to watch the battle. I do have a winner, and I will tell you. What I thought about JC's performance overall, what I thought about Head Ice's performance overall, moving forward as far as the tournament goes. Uh, Head Ice comes into this battle pretty much an underdog versus JC because JC has been like literally just sniping people down line after line after line after line. Uh, he told C3, <laughs> bitch, listen, I don't play no matter where I'm at. Ben Simmons, that was crazy. Then, you know, he, 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 JC just does this, like, person for person. You know, they say you shouldn't have a reason to hit women. Well, I see three. It's over with. Overdose from the dopish. Um, Head Ice comes into this battle. He had battle Verb not too long ago. He had some legendary, he's had legendary moments in an overall good career. Better than most, you know what I'm saying? Head Ice has been doing this for quite some time. He lands in the tournament. He battled Shuni. He beat Shuni pretty clear. And coming into this battle, it was like, what was Ice going to be able to do in the current state of battle rap that was going to be able to get him past a JC, who is one of the prohibited favorites to win Ultimate Madness altogether? He was a favorite back when JC, it was JC, Rum Nitty, and Geechee Gotti were still around. Now, with Rum Nitty being eliminated, now with Geechee Gotti being eliminated, JC rises to the top like he's literally the favorite. JC versus Sheed happened, and then it would be JC on no. <clears throat> Not putting nothing past Sheed, you know what I'm saying? Sheed just won a great battle that he had versus Truefoe. He did great in. Uh, he would definitely need, he's going to need something, though, for, for JC, because JC is line after line after line. So JC's first round, uh, Tom Brady with these two minute times. He says, uh, Wolf with half a moon liking my chances. I like that joint. Uh, heel in the center like baptism. I like that. One shot, none of you wanted. None of you Kyrie's wanted. I like that joint too. Uh, he had the body cam bar. He had the dozing while you wrote it. That was crazy. That dozing while you uh, get out the car, shoot closer, dozing off rounds like you wrote it. Shoulder strap, satchel down, disorder. Like, yo, he was wilding in his first. Put Victor on ice like four brothers. Uh, trade to the side, the real mellow. JC all throughout his first round. You know, y'all know JC. You know, I don't have to break his bars down and go line for line for line. I can tell you some bars that he said, and I'm just letting you know. JC, even with two weeks time, did not take off. You know what I'm saying? Like, he went right back in his bag, and he was back at it. Ice, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, the drips of sweat bar, uh, the weather breaking, doing JC dirty, just cause. <laughs> his letters made it devastating, six flags, uh, too small, F your cheeseburger. He said the blood stood behind this arsenal. And then he had a, this is a line I really didn't like, I'm not going to hold you. Uh, not going to put a bullet hole in the tombstone of your moms. We can't see that no, we can't see that hole nowhere backstage. Uh, smack, he had the oxymoron bar. Overall, Ice, Ice had a straight round. I did not, I wasn't really the fan of the JC to put a hole in the mom tombstone. His mom just passed away like not too long ago. I know it's battle rap, so I ain't going to like super harp on it. But even with that being said, I still had JC winning the first round. Uh, JC's second round. 
uh, two weeks prep uh, is my Achilles heel. Have a leg up on ice. You, you tear your Achilles heel, sprain your Achilles heel. You have your leg up on ice. I like that. I'm so focused on what's at stake. I don't even order size. Ooh. Ooh. I'm so focused on what's at stake that I don't even order size. Whew. That was crazy. Um, I got the main course in mind. Uh, half full with an open mind. He says, fed me to the wolf and I came back with a whole clothing line. I love that bar. Uh, he said, he said, you're very well seasoned, just not the playoff time. <laughs> Don't get caught slipping out black ice. JC's wilding in his second round. Uh, he had the Idris Elba line. He had the, uh, I sat with Spike, the Mortal Kombat line. He had the, uh, remember the Titans bar. And he says, you put, they put you in front of a king just to get turned to time. Dust, he still got that dust line off, so I'm gonna still count it. Uh, put you in front of a king, you get turned into dust. Remember the time, Michael Jackson video? Like, I, I, I was fucking with that. Uh, Ice is second round. This is what I've been talking about. All the blogs and all the predictions, and when Showtime is PSN, we break down battles. What is Ice gonna be able to do that's different in this day and age? Like, what can he do? Like, is it gonna be a gimmick? Is he gonna have props? He had both, which was crazy. Like, this was wild. I, I never seen Ice in this bag before. So Ice comes out, uh, I smoked the smoke out this smoker with this bulldog. Every fucking bottle, he said point .2. If you need one, just point .2. And then that point .2, point .2, and the seller could get it, and the shooter, the snorter get a point .2. That shit was fucking crazy, I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, JC Pennies, but bringing the work to the outlet, I like that. Uh, bust that old school move for the last problem. I got a script for you. He pulled out the script. Uh, showing signs like July. Yo, he pulled out the bottle, the shake bottle, the glass joint. He poured some powder out of there. Listen, I don't even want to know what it was. I don't care. He had the uh, he had the, the script pulled. Ice, wait, 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 how did you get from New York to Atlanta with all of this? He had like 10 pockets. He was like pulling stuff out of the zipper pocket, out the back pocket. Hold on, hold on. He's pulling stuff out of every fucking pot, every fucking bottle, right? Uh, he had the killer season. Uh, you ain't seen dope as shit since killer season. You'll get assassinated like Julius Caesar. He said Young Ill had an angle. Uh, he had the Young Ill joint. You know, he, he brought the rock and crack home without you. Then he had the Jack Harlow line, but I still know who Brandy is. I like that. Uh, I don't expect you to greet my dog when I walk to you. I like that joint. Uh, the temptations to use your last five heartbeat to wake up the wolf. Ice to me, I had Ice with the second round. Uh, JC second round was fire. He definitely still had bars in it, but Ice level of performance, the bars that he was bringing, and he had some big moments. And when he's pulling out all them bottles and shit, looking like Hustle Man or Brother Man from the fifth floor, I was like, yo, he was wild. JC's third round, uh, raise the arm and take this shit apart. Dissemble. He had the uh, the whole set get wrapped in plastic like the living room, like your living room, like his living room. Uh, don't have to get under the glacier to see ice cave. That was fire. Uh, melting ice cap could cause global warning. He said that he had the two weeks. And then the Juneteenth line was out. I didn't even know we let these niggas go. Juneteenth. Uh, being this cold with the heat could leave a paradox. I like that joint. Uh, he said, uh, these, I came to sit down these rookies. They should have seen red shirt. That was uh, get demonic when a goat is on your head like the Baphomet. Even smack like that line with the ratchet. I'm like Luke in the 90s. Yo, just, just, JC. This is just, this is JC. Like, well, I could read these bars all day and all night, but it's just JC. And had ice his third. Uh, Killer had good hygiene, laying dead. He said, you look like you're still moving on the live stream. I like that joint. Uh, he had the Tony Hawk bar. He had the uh, South Park, you kids, Randy Marsh. I like that joint. Uh, two with the screw faces. Then he had a Saudi Arabia flag. Uh, he said, uh, looking for season. Oh, that was fire. The looking for seasoning line was definitely fire. Uh, he had the JC Soul. He had the There He Go Moon. There He Go Moon walking again. I like that. Uh, respected like Tupac and Above the Rim track. Uh, Tupac's Above the Rim track definitely was dope. Salute to IMHBY on Twitter. He writes down a lot of these uh, joints too. And I be catching like some of the posts that I read, that I read these joints off of. But um, overall, I had JC winning the battle and pretty clear. Um, I had JC winning the first. I had JC winning the third. Uh, there was rumors. People were saying, oh, Ice stumbled or choked. He didn't stumble. He didn't choke. I don't got. I, I don't never have really Ice for choking anyway because his flow, the way he raps, he could just jump into so many pockets. 
his round was probably like the two minute time limits. These rounds are two minutes. So like when y'all be saying people had a short round, dog, two minutes is a short round anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it don't even like if a nigga get through two minutes of material, the material that he was supposed to get through, he had a round. Um, JC's round was just better. And there's nothing wrong with that. JC was able to really do the things that he does. You know what I'm saying? Like this, there's no knock on ice in this one. He came, he brought a dope second, and his third was good too. It was just a little shorter than um what JC was was JC was rocking with. But overall, JC is probably gonna be one of the favorites to win this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Because lyrically, he just goes line for line for line for line. He just keeps finding ways to keep overdosing with the dopest shit and bringing his condolences, you know what I mean? Like, you can't even take nothing from JC at this point. If he won this $100,000, I really wouldn't even be surprised. At this point, there are very, there are four very, very, very different MCs. Every one of them is different. Swamp is nothing like Sheed. Sheed is nothing like Fonz. Fonz is nothing like JC. Like, all, it, it really is one of them years where somebody's, and the dope thing about it is, Somebody's about to win a hundred thousand and it could really change the trajectory of their career. I'll go through everybody. With Swamp, you already know, like <laughs> he just beat Rum Nitty. 5-0. I watched the battle again. He won damn near he won all three judges and damn near won every round. When people say stumble the choke, in his second round. Swamp had a six second stumble where he got to a line, a choke, whatever you want to call it, and I counted one, two, three, four, five. Before I could get to seven, when I hit six, he was rapping again. That's not a choke to me. That's not big. He got he got he got out of place. He got right back in place and kept on rapping. But to me, that was Rum Nitty's best round anyway, so he was gonna get that round. The third round, Swamp got that. Like it's clear, like it's not even like a debate, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't feel like nobody got robbed. I feel like Swamp clearly won that battle. I had tweeted a couple weeks ago that when Swamp got the dot battle, I said that at this point, I felt like Swamp should be battling better competition. And you know, a lot of people reacted to it. Even Dot hit me up himself personally about that tweet and said, yeah, this is the energy I need. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is going to be one of them ones. But I just felt at that point that Swamp in a non-progressive state doesn't, it's not gonna do anything conducive to his development because it doesn't matter. You put him in these battles with like, no disrespect, a danger zone or at this point, a dot or a big T or people like that. Respected rappers, I'm not disrespecting anybody, but you put him in these matchups, it's not gonna take him anywhere. You're not gonna get the best version because he's trying to excel, he's trying to grow. It's like, bro, I can't show up here with people that y'all don't even book like that. You know what I'm saying? You booking me against niggas that y'all would never put on a stage. That just shows you where that man's career is headed. He got in the, he got in there with Rum Nitty, who's prime time. Look what happened, you know? And now he has a chance to battle Fonz. And, you know, Fonz has stepped it up in his second round versus Real Sick. I really didn't like the first round versus Prestavia. I voiced that opinion already. I like Fonz overall. I've been a huge supporter of Fonz. I recapped a lot of his battles. Uh, he uses the clips and puts them in, out and stuff like that, and I definitely respect his promotional game and his grind. But in the first round, I can't front and act like I like what he did versus uh, Prestavia. It was cool. The pass to Fonzel was cool. That ain't beating Swamp. Now, what he did versus Real Sick in that second and third, oh yeah, you got a war. These niggas, they gonna have a war. Um, I Offset. Offset! I got Swamp winning. Uh, if, I get, if I get what I got this week, Swamp had the best performance of this tournament so far. There's nobody who had a better three-round performance than Swamp in Ultimate Madness so far. Period. I'm sorry. JC's had some cold shit he's been killing. Consistent. But Swamp has the performance of Ultimate Madness right now. And when you see it again, you're gonna be like, yo, he was wild. That fucking shit that he said with that, uh, I missed two meetings with better plugs now i'm out here running out with running around with my scale giving out extra crumb running around without my scale giving out extra crumb this nigga was bugging son he set a ball in his <laughs> and he said none of my niggas don't get homesick because where i'm from we don't miss like what i caught it on the double on dodger like where i'm from we don't miss like miss the shot and miss where you from and for Swamp 
to get a win against a uh, rum who didn't stumble, didn't choke. Like I said, when niggas have battles where it's like some shit happens, like a nigga stumbles or somebody takes some bars or recycles, those are wins, but that's not the win you want. You want to win against somebody with all three rounds, no slips, no blips, no stumbles. Like you want that kind of win because it lets you know where you at. Like, yo, I beat insert name on their A game. That shit means way more than just winning a battle with somebody who showed up and just gave some bullshit. Um, so Swamp got that win clearly. Fonz, you know what I'm saying, he did his thing, he beat real sick. And then you got Sheet Happens versus JC. Uh, the, the, the odds are JC wins because JC is just JC. But Sheet Happens had his best performance probably in, a, in battle rap. I love what he did versus Luke Castro too. But, uh, and that was just a one round battle. But Sheed showed that he's here and he belongs there. So I mean, I'm gonna I'm give him a puncher's chance, but I definitely got uh, JC winning. Uh, and Head Ice versus JC. There's gonna be a couple people out there who feel like Ice may have got the win, but I felt like JC did more than enough to get that win. Uh, it would have been good to see Ice continue to go on and, you know, try to continue to do that type of stuff. Yo, this man had shit. He had shit in every pocket. Was that real dope? He was dumping out this motherfucker. was pouring out this and dumping out that. And that shit was crazy, man. But Ice, I do have uh, Ice doing his thing. I had him win in the second round. I had JC winning the battle overall. Uh, I've been here in New Jersey's work and Ace, I mean, are both, you know, behind the wall right now. Salute and respect to both of them. Uh, free both of those guys, you know what I'm saying? Like they're very talented MCs, they're young, and you just want to see them out here doing their thing on the highest level, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, I know they 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 they, they want to be back out there doing what they got to do, and hopefully, you know, they make it back out soon. You never, I don't want to see none of them um, behind the wall, and I just hope that these guys they'll be alright, you know what I'm saying? And then when they come out, they could continue to use their talent because I liked what Ace Amin was doing, and I liked the direction that he was going in prior to him getting booked. Um, overall. Uh, it was cool. It was a cool little week. It took longer than it needed to. Four battles shouldn't take a day and a half to see. I mean, but you know, the first segment took like five or six hours and then we had to wait the next day. It's like, that's a lot for one weekend, just for four battles. But uh, JC, salute. Swamp, salute. Fawn, salute. And uh, she happened, salute too. And also salute to the people who didn't get past, you know what I'm saying? Like the true foes. I would love to see true foe back out there doing this thing again with more time to prepare and more time to, you know, get his shit together. But that two weeks, that two weeks, that two weeks to come up with killer material to be able to beat a high-level MC in two weeks is a lot. The guys who won this weekend are probably already back in their bag working on new material. Or if they weren't, they was probably putting together little ideas for the different people that's in their path. Like, that's the only way I can see. You literally have to prepare for a battle. And once you got them three rounds now, you got to kind of start tucking heat away for the next person. You might not never get to him, but you know, you gotta have some shit, a leg up. But anyway, you already know what to do or what it does, so you gotta ask what it was. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Make sure you hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with all the latest content. Well, 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 I will be mailing this L out to Arizona tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Salute to Romney, you my nigga. It's a very, it's, a, it's weird, it's crazy that I have to do this. But it goes out for the very first time. It gotta go, man. This is yours, bro. Gang, gang.